So, again, with Florida, Disney and Ron DeSantis have been in something of a fight, a little bit of a feud. Um, today, Disney filed a lawsuit claiming that there is a relentless campaign to weaponize government power. <laughs> um, where do you stand on the fight with Disney? Listen, I, I think when you, as a parent, are seeing these corporations um, work tirelessly to undermine your role as a parent, um, to change the narrative, everything, some, something as basic as you can't say, welcome boys and girls, um, when you go to Disneyland or Disney World, I mean, that's a little bit concerning. And let's be clear, Disney inserted themselves into this fight in the first place. Um, Florida has taken a very strong stance in protecting children and supporting parents. And when they wanted to step in the fight and say that, uh, you know, woke policies are the best for their company, then you know, that, that opened the door for the state of Florida to take action. And as we saw, the state legislature, they stripped their uh, special uh, tax status. For the longest time, Disney has operated as an independent entity with their own fire department, police department, et cetera, really beholden to no one else but themselves. And that's going to change. I think that as a business, you have the right to make the best decisions for you and your consumers. But when you start infringing on the on the political process and, and really trying to carve out special favors for yourself, that's a problem. So I'm really proud of the work that Ron DeSantis has done in protecting parents and children. And um, we'll, we'll see how this plays out. I have a feeling there's a long road ahead.